Hey guys, today we're going to learn how to turn your storyboard into an animatic. An animatic, for those of you who don't know, is an animated storyboard. It's kind of like a guideline for you while you make your movie. Later on, this animatic will turn into a previs and then into a finished film. So, I recently finished working on my storyboard. Uh, Geometry Exercise is the temporary name for the film. Uh, you can see some of the boards here. Uh, the first thing before I do, before I actually import all the boards into After Effects, is collecting sound effects. So I go to my sound effects library and just collect all the sounds that I think I might use in the animatic. These are just some sounds that I thought I'm probably going to use. You would add sounds later uh, according to your needs, but this kind of gives you a, a nice base to start. Then you import all of them into After Effects, put them in a Sound Effects folder, and they're there whenever you want to use them. So we import our boards, and we can start making the animatic. So basically all of your boards are just photos. You line them up in After Effects one after another and try to take care of the timing to make sure the timing is correct and the movie works. So you see it's kind of like 2D animation but obviously very, very loose, not very specific. You want to convey the actions and the emotions of what's going on in the scene. So you see all those purple layers here are my drawings. So you keep doing that, keep adding, you check the timing, you check how you, you kind of play back the movie to see how it works. All the way, I'm not going to spoil the ending, but all the way to the end. After you've done that, you can render your movie to see how it looks and start, start adding sound effects. All the green layers here are my sound effects. layered on top of each other. So that's the basic setup for creating the video for the animatic. After that there's a second stage that I like doing uh, is putting this entire composition into a new one and add some information like frame number, time code, uh, if you want to write work in progress, the name of the animatic, it kind of it, it's it looks more professional but more than that it's a good thing to reference later when you want to make corrections for example you you know that at frame 699 there was something you wanted to change or at 31 seconds you want to make a change so it's kind of it's a good tool for referencing later when you're animating or making the previous another thing is placing the shot number that's really important you always want to keep track of your shots uh, so you can make changes in the right shots later. So as you can see my shots change. Uh, how do I do that? Well the shot numbering over here is just different layers and in each layer I just change the name to to the next shot. But these two guys here, uh, the frame number and the time code is actually um, a preset effect of After Effects and it's really easy to create. All you do is in the effects and preset window you write time and over here there's an expression called display comp time. If you double click it it'll automatically generate this time code thing. You see it updates as you move. And then you can scale it and place it whatever, wherever you want. For the frame number you write frame and there's an expression called frame number. Double click it, it'll automatically generate a frame counter. That's it, that's kind of a simple overview of how I make animatics. Uh, they shouldn't be more complicated than that. Not, I mean you can add more boards to make the action more clear but an animatic is really just the first step in understanding if your film works or not. So for the next video I'll start working on the models for the cube and the ball. 
If there's something you want me to make a tutorial about, please write in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe.